I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, Roger State University, and by viewers like you. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. At RCB Bank, we know that if you want to build a strong future, you need a solid foundation. That's why since 1936, RCB Bank has helped people and communities forge a path to a solid financial foundation. For more than 85 years, RCB Bank has been strong, stable, and ready to lend a hand. With more than 60 locations across Oklahoma and Kansas, RCB Bank is here to serve your banking needs. At RCB Bank, you truly are at home. Home. The Morris Eagles and the Preston Pirates are here as we continue our 12th season of I Want Answers. Welcome to our 12th season of Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. I'm your host, Anna Berry, and happy to be back with you guys again this year. So tonight's teams, we have the Morris Eagles and the Preston Pirates. These teams are competing for a chance at $12,000 in scholarship money, and that's going to be awarded in the championship at the end of this season. Let's meet our players from Morris. Starting off with our team captain, we have Colton Kreiner, senior. We have Kylie Force, senior. We've got Brooklyn Pritchard, senior. And we've got Ian Merrill, a sophomore. Morris, how are you guys feeling today? Good. Good, Good excited? Yeah. Yes. Ready to go? All right, let's meet our players from Preston. We have our team captain, Thomas Hurst, junior. We've got Luke Smith, a junior. We have another junior, Jake Price, and senior Brady Long. You guys feeling good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excited? Yes. Yeah? Questions, questions, questions. I know that's what you guys want, but that's not the name of the show. What's the name of the show, huh? Uh, yeah, and that's what I want. You guys ready? Yeah? Audience, how you doing? All right, let's begin our competition tonight with the speed round. First up, the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answer questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. All right, we begin. One goal of the alchemists was to change base metals, Preston? Gold. No? Base metals into gold. Using a combination of the Latin words for across and change, what did they call this process? Morris. Transmutation. Yes. Buying positions in the church and requiring people to pay for the absolution of sin were two reasons for what 16th century movement? Morris. Protestant Reformation. Yes. If New Mexico was intended to be at one end of the Atch Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway, what state was at the other end? Preston. Kansas. Yes. Which surface of most fish faces away from the sky? Morris. Their belly. No. Preston. Fin. No, the ventral surface. In the 16th century, India was conquered by the Mughals, a name that means people from what region in East Central Asia? Preston. Mongolia. Yes. Name the colorless, odorless, and tasteless product of combustion of organic matter. Morris. Carbon monoxide. Yes. Which of the three broad categories of rock is formed through magmatism? Morris. 
Igneous. Yes. Some may think that Glinda was the antithesis of the Wicked Witch of the West, but who actually was? Morris. Elphaba. No. Preston? Dorothy. Yes, Dorothy. All right, we have a math question. The number 14 to the zero power equals what? Preston? One. Yes. Woo! A machine for storming fortress walls, a parachute, and a flying machine were among the designs developed. Morris? Da Vinci. Yes. What pole is at 65 degrees south and 139 degrees east? Preston? South pole. Yes. What mathematical symbol is on the anode pole of a dry cell battery? Morris. Negative. No. Preston? Positive. Yes. The desert traveler saw a refraction of light rays through the medium of the hot air above the sand and the cooler air above that. What did he see? Morris. A mirage. Yes. What Spanish conquistador led the largest expedition of both the 15th and the 16th centuries? Morris. Cortez. No. Through what would become the southeastern and midwestern U.S. in search of gold and silver? Preston. Coronado. No, it's Hernando de Soto. The son of, a, of the sister of your spouse bears what relationship to you? Preston. Nephew. Yep. This illustrates what literary technique? The morning light on the lake gave no hint. Preston? Personification? No. Morris? Imagery? No, it was foreshadowing. We have a video question from Dr. Hugh Foley. Hi, I'm Dr. Hugh Foley. I teach cinema here at Roger State University. What is the term for character information provided during a film to give the audience a better idea of who the character is? Preston. Exposition. No. Morris. Direct characterization. No. The answer they're wanting is backstory or background information. All right. Until they were banned by the Roman emperor in 393, what competitions had been held every four years? Preston. The Olympics. Yes. Mineral rich sand and gravel that can be profitably exploited is known to miners as what kind of dirt? Morris? Rich. No. Preston? Gold. No, it's called pay dirt. Seven hours after Russia declared war on Japan, the great bomb was dropped on which second city? Morris? Nagasaki. Yes. What first lady said this when they returned to the nation's capital? The enemy cannot frighten a free people. Preston? Adams. No. We shall rebuild Washington. Morris. Dolly Madison. Yes, it was Dolly Madison. The shallowest portions of the margins of the continents are called continental what? Preston. Riffs. No. Morris. Shelves. Yes. According to the colloquialism, the Lusitania and the Andrea Doria are in whose locker? Morris. Davy Jones. Yes. Multicellular organisms that have a UR, eukaryotic cell type, chloroplasts, and cell walls made of cellulose belong to what taxonomic kingdom? Morris. Plantae. Yes. Which world's largest museum complex consists of 17 museums and galleries? Preston. Smithsonian. Yes. Name the largest ancient city on the North African coast that was founded by the Phoenicians. Carthage. Morris. Yes. How would you say, no thank you, in Spanish? Morris? No gracias. Si, yes. A main purpose of no-till planting is to reduce what? Morris? Erosion. Yes. Math question. If the average of five consecutive even integers is x, what is the smallest integer? Morris? X over five. No. Preston? X minus 10. No, it's X minus four. All right, popular, popularized by Teddy Roosevelt and Ernest Hemingway, what hunting expeditions in Africa are hot? Preston? Safari. Yes. What famous woman's autobiography entitled The Story of My Life begins with a dedication to Alexander Graham Bell for his work with the deaf? Morris? Helen Keller? Yes. 
The density of mercury is 13.55 grams per cubic what? Morris. Centimeter? Yes. In Mallory's La Mort d'Arthur, what is the title of those elite warriors sworn to uphold the values? Morris. Knights. Yes. <laughs> Woo! That bell means time's up for the speed round, and that was a speed round at its finest. The score stands at 170 Morris, 100 Preston. Super close. Round two is coming up next. We'll be right back. We are the Morris Eagles. I am Colton Kreiner, and if I had a power, it would be the ability to outgrow ingrown hairs. I'm Brooklyn Pritchard, and if I had a superpower, I would gain the ability to forget the Alamo. I'm Kylie, and if I had a superpower, it would be to time travel, and I would time travel back to the sinking of the Titanic and tell Rose that there is more room on that door. I'm Ian Merrill, and if I had a superpower, I would have the power to summon a chicken on every federal holiday for, fe for 17 seconds, and it would wear a fancy hat. All right, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that chicken, but all right. Welcome back, everyone, to I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. Teams, are you ready for more questions? Yes, I know you are, because Advantage Round is coming your way next. Next up, the advantage round. In this round, the teams face off by first attempting to answer a speed question. The team that answers correctly receives 10 points and the opportunity to answer three advantage questions worth 10 points each. After the three advantage questions, it's back to speed questions to determine who gets the next advantage. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. All right, here is your first speed question. Self was the indigenous leader of two nations in the Puget Sound region of which state? Washington. Washington. Yes, advantage for Morris, we have books for the younger crowd. In the novel Bonicula, A Rabbit Tale of Mystery, the central character is Nighty. Nighty is what kind of creature? A dog. 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 No, it's a cat. What character in The Wind and the Willows is the foil to Mr. Toad? Frog. <laughs> Frog. No, it's Mr. Badger. What author of the Goosebump series is still writing and planning to get to 300 books? Stein, R.L. Stein. Yes. All right, speed. The upper gastrointestinal tract includes the duodenum, stomach, and what muscular membranous tube? Morris. Esophagus. Yes. Advantage for Morris, taking control. Under Augustus Caesar, Rome's territory went from, went from Spain in the west, Syria east, the Rhine and Danube north, and what desert in the south? Sahara. Yes. In 1843, what Mexican president told the U.S. that trying to take Texas would be considered an act of war? Juarez. Yes. Uh, Benito Juarez. No, it no, it was Santa Ana. Which Barbary state at the northwest point of Africa was the first to accept the new United States and the first to seize an American vessel only seven years later? Morocco. Yes. All right, speed. Name the most famous composite monster architectural design of ancient Egypt. Morris. The Pyramids of Giza. No. Preston? Sphinx. Yes, the Sphinx. Advantage four. Preston, grammar. What punctuation is needed in these phrases? A well-known author. Some freshwater aardvarks. Comma. No, hyphen. Change the incorrect word in this sentence. The cause for all the commotion and confusion were not obvious. Was. Was. Yes. What auxiliary verb is understood when you knock on a door and call out anybody home? Is. Is. Yes. Back to speed. Nuke, otherwise known as Godthab, is the capital of what? Greenland. Morris? Greenland. Yes. Advantage for Morris, world geography. Through one country, two systems, Beijing allows what former British colony some control of its own affairs as well as civil liberties prohibited in mainland China? 
Yeah, Hong Kong. Yes, a region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where a number of aircraft and surface vessels have disappeared under mysterious circumstances is Bermuda. known as what triangle? triangle? Bermuda. Yes, Japan, Norway, and Iceland are the only three countries permitted to hunt a restricted number of what kind of marine mammals annually? Whales. Whales. Yes, back to speed. What kind of luminescence may be produced in a solid by raising its temperature? Morris? Thermoluminescence. Yes. Advantage for Morris, we have music. Name the technique used to play chords across multiple strings with down or up strokes. Strum. Yeah. Strum. Yes. Fog on the Tyne and Scarborough Fair are songs from which country? Scarborough Fair, is that Germany? Sure. Germany? Nope. The UK. It's not from Britain, and it's actually an alto oboe without a bell. So what woodwind has a name that is entirely a misnomer? So an English horn. Is it? English horn? Yes. Speed. What is the informal term for the identification tags worn by U.S. military personnel? Dog Morris. tags. Yes, dog tags. Advantage for Morris, we have American history. Davy Crockett described what legendary keel boatman of the time as half horse and half alligator. It was Mike Fink. Molasses and rum were two of the three items exchanged in triangular trade. What was traded with these commodities? Okay. The answer was slaves. Open in 1825, name the first transportation system between the eastern seaboard and the Great Lakes that did not require portaging. So, um. it was the Erie Canal. All right, back to speed. What archaeological age was named for an alloy of copper and tin? Preston. Bronze. Yes. Advantage for Preston, we have other languages. The words sauerkraut and pumpernickel were borrowed from which language? German. German. Yes. What is Spanish for bread? Pane. Pane. No? Pan. How do you say with in French? With. Avec. That's how you say it. All right, back to speed. What is the etymological etymological meaning of the last syllable in the names of these places? Hartford, Stratford, Waterford. Preston. Of? No. Morris. Town. No, it's crossing. Which is the largest of the world's great tectonic plates? Morris. Pacific. Yes. Yeah. Advantage for Morris, we have applied physics. One pellet of what nuclear fuel source produces as much energy as one ton of coal? Uranium. Yes. The airship developed by Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin was vulnerable to explosion because it was filled with what gas? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yes. Name the large mechanical devices into which aspiring astronauts are sometimes placed and spun around to simulate intense gravitational forces. Centrifuge. Yes. All right. That is all the time we have for the Advantage round. Let's check out the score. We've got 340 Morris, 150 Preston. But stay with us. We have one more round coming up next. I'm Thomas Hurst with the Preston Pirates. And if I were to have any superpower, it would be to be happy and free from suffering. Hi, I'm Luke Smith with the Preston Pirates, and if I were to have any superpower, it would be to be happy and free from suffering. Hi, I'm Brady Long with the Preston Pirates, and if I could have any superpower, it would be to be happy and free from suffering. Hi, I'm Jake Price with the Preston Pirates, and if I had any superpower, it would be to be happy and free from suffering.
sensed a theme was forming, and that's a good answer. I want the same thing. All right, welcome back to I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. We're down to the final round of our competition tonight. It's the whirlwind round, and it's coming right up. Next up, it's the whirlwind round. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories, and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer them. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Then the other team gets their turn at one of three remaining categories. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If any team correctly answers all 10 of their questions, they will receive 10 bonus points. All right, well, Preston, your team is trailing, so you get to pick one of these three categories. Animal life, World War II, or watery borders? Do you wanna, do you wanna give them animal? We're gonna give Morris watery borders. All right, you're going to give Morris watery borders. All right, Morris, which river or lake forms at least part of the boundary between these pairs of states? Answers may be repeated. Virginia and Maryland. Hudson. No. Arizona and Nevada. Uh, Colorado. Yes. Washington and Oregon. Uh, snake. Snake. No. Maryland and West Virginia. Maryland, West Virginia. No answer. Ohio and Kentucky. That's Columbia. Is it? Columbia? No, West Virginia and Ohio. <laughs> Columbia? No, Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Hudson? No, Arkansas and Texas. Red River? Yes, Oklahoma and Arkansas for a short part. Red River? <laughs> um, Arkansas? Canadian? Arkansas? Yes, Illinois and Indiana. Ohio? Nope. Good job. All right. Huh. So, Morris, you guys get to pick for Preston either Animal Life, World War II, or Enter. Uh, we're going to go with Animal Life. Animal Life for Preston. Preston, answer these questions about Animal Life. What bird can outrun a racehorse? Ostrich. Yes. What fish travels up to a thousand miles just to lay its eggs? Salmon. Yes. Which mammal sleeps hanging upside down? Bat. Yes. What is the chief physical difference between lizards and snakes? Legs. Yes. Other than for flying, who do birds need? Why do birds need feathers? Warmth. Yes. What insect spends most of its time sleeping? It is also called the 17-year locust. Cicada. Yes. Which species of shark is most dangerous? Tiger. No. What do we call the liquid inside a skunk's body that makes it smell? Pass. What do bees collect to make honey? Pollen. No. Name the smallest bear in North America. Um, black bear. Yes. All right. Okay, everyone, great job with the whirlwind round. Let's check out our score after three rounds. We have 370 Morris, 220 Preston, still pretty close. Let's do some speed questions to see who's going to win. All right, spanning the width of the stage, what is the name for the surface behind the acting area upon which scenery is usually painted? Morris. Background. Yes. What is created by using opposites near or next to one another, such as light object next to a dark one? Morris. Contrast. Yes. The costliest flood in US history occurred in 1993 along two major rivers causing more than 30 billion in damage. Name either river. Morris. Mississippi. Yes. Objects in motion or at rest remain in motion or at rest unless, Preston. Newton's first law. No, acted upon by an external what? Morris? Force. Yes. Which novel by H.G. Wells caused a major fear of our nearest neighboring planet? Morris. War of the Worlds. Yes. We usually perceive flavors in food through a combination of what two sensations? Preston. Taste and smell. Yes. In 1540, Captain de Cardenas ordered men to climb down to the river of what canyon, but they were unable to get more than a third of the way? Preston. Grand Canyon. Yes. In binomial nomenclature, which taxonomic division is not capitalized? Preston. Species. Yes. 
What adjective meaning adapted for grasping was derived from the Latin word prehendere? And Preston. Prehensile? Yes. Earthquake, submarine landslides, and underwater volcanic eruptions can all cause what kind of enormous waves? Tsunami. Yes. Mia Thermopolis is the protagonist in what series of books? Morris. Princess Diaries. Yes. A 40-foot cliff near the summit of what Asian mountain has been known as the Hillary Step? Preston. Kilimanjaro. No. Since 1953. Morris. K2. No. Mount Everest. What American president ordered the USS Maine into Havana Harbor to support American interests in Cuba? Preston. McKinley. Yes. Name the main weapon of the warriors in Homer's Iliad. Morris. Spears. Yes. Which country has the Governor General's awards for literary works in categories of English and French? Preston. Canada. Yes. Oh my goodness. That bell concludes tonight's awesome thrilling competition. All right, the final score stands at 440 Morris, 290 Preston. That means that Morris is our winner tonight. Congratulations, Morris. Great job, both teams. You guys did such a stellar job. Let's take a look at our bracket. We see that Morris will advance and be playing again in our semifinals, so we'll see them again soon. Thank you, teams, for playing, and thank you, audience, for joining us as we showcase the knowledge of our local Green Country high school academic teams. Please follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, you can always catch up on past episodes anytime at rsu.tv. We'll see you next time for another exciting competition on I Want Answers. I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCD Bank, Roger State University, and by viewers like you. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. At RCB Bank, we know that if you want to build a strong future, you need a solid foundation. That's why since 1936, RCB Bank has helped people and communities forge a path to a solid financial foundation. For more than 85 years, RCB Bank has been strong, stable, and ready to lend a hand. With more than 60 locations across Oklahoma and Kansas, RCB Bank is here to serve your banking needs. At RCB Bank, you truly are at home. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma.